As you know, healthcare and benefits can be complicated, which can make the enrollment process confusing. As part of that enrollment process, employers often offer fringe benefits like FSAs and HSAs. So, what is an FSA? In this episode of HRFAQ, I'll explain that question and explain how it compares to an HSA. Let's get going. What is an FSA? A flexible spending account or FSA is a savings account that allows employees to set aside pre-tax dollars for healthcare, dependent care, or limited purpose expenses, such as vision or dental care. An FSA may also be called a flexible spending arrangement. What an FSA will pay for depends on the type of account. Both employees and their employer can contribute to an FSA, but the IRS does limit how much an individual can contribute to their account per year. The amount an employer contributes does not affect the maximum amount that an employee can contribute. For health and limited purposes, FSAs, the maximum is $2,850 for 2022. And for the dependent care FSAs, the maximum is $5,000 for 2022. Employees should keep in mind, though, that FSAs do not roll over from year to year. The IRS does give employers the option to extend a grace period for two and a half months, and some plans allow up to $550 per year to roll over. But typically, any remaining FSA funds return to the employer once the plan year expires. The tax-free advantage of FSAs is one reason why they are such a popular benefit it essentially means that employees can save about 30% on qualified expenses. Health FSA funds can be used to pay for or to reimburse payment for qualified medical expenses such as copays, prescriptions, physical therapy, and certain healthcare products. Dependent care FSAs can be used to pay for licensed daycare, adult dependent care providers, and summer camps. Limited purpose FSAs typically cover dental and vision care, but there are some FSAs designed to commuter benefits and adoption services as well. To be clear though, there are no universal FSAs that cover all of the products and services mentioned above. Instead, the type of FSA dictates what qualifies as a reimbursable expense, which is why most FSAs are not compatible with an HSA, but some are. How does an FSA compare to an HSA? FSAs are often confused with HSAs, or health savings accounts, but there are some key differences. While both FSAs and HSAs allow employers and employees to contribute before taxes, the IRS sets a higher limit on HSA contributions. HSAs roll over from one plan year to the next, while FSAs typically do not roll over. Keep in mind though, that employers have the options to allow up to $550 per year to roll over and to extend a grace period of up to two and a half months. FSAs are owned by employers, which means that individuals cannot set one up independently and that individuals cannot take their funds with them when they leave employment. HSAs, on the other hand, are owned by the individual and are portable. And finally, HSAs must be paired with a high deductible health plan or HDHP, but FSAs have no requirement. For these reasons, you may be wondering if an employee can have both an FSA and an HSA at the same time. Yes, but only under limited circumstances. According to the IRS, health FSAs are considered other health coverage, which makes them incompatible with an HSA. However, limited purpose dependent care and commuter benefit may be paired with an HSA. Both of these tax advantaged accounts can help employees save significantly on qualifying expenses. That's why they make such a competitive benefit for employers. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you wanna learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes. As always, thanks for watching.